Hello once again, coasters. This is Alan from the All Aboard the Tune Roller Coaster page. Give her a like on Facebook and follow us on at Pods Boys. People who's on YouTube, give us a subscribe and hire us a like if you like my videos and just keep the topics coming in and I'll keep filming. Uh, I just like to get, give me a review of the West Ham game. Solid performance. Um, the defence looked more organised, especially with Colo back. Captain Kuro, so I think the team looked more organised than previous games without him. I think he's more of a leader uh, than uh, Johan Kabai. So that was a good thing. Uh, Rob Elliott misjudged one um, ball over the top, but he didn't have much to do all day apart from that. He made a great save from Jarvis in the second half. So hopefully that might give him a boost of confidence, but I still don't think he's really permissive Dan that I don't feel comfortable him being in goal uh, every time they attack. It's I get a bit concerned, you know, because I don't think we he's need Tim Cool. So the defence more organised, didn't concede. So that's that's a that's a really positive point that considering. We've conceded six last game. Um, midfield, Benny Bus back, causing some problems. Got a good hour or so out of him. Still needs to pick up some fitness, I think. So that's something to work on. Hopefully, QPR will look more sharper, especially against QPR, who was already down and out. So he might hopefully run rampant in that game. Um, the strikers. CCA's goal, yes, CCA's goal, it was over the line, I've seen the pictures, I've seen the footage, it was over the line. Um, I, someone says could he hit it a ball a bit harder, maybe he's, maybe he's not, maybe he's, it took a miss hit, you know, so it did roll over the line, but for, unfortunately uh, for Newcastle and us, um, the linesman decided to go on the drink on Friday night and file our pissed on the on the fucking sideline, the fucking stupid get. And said, oh, I didn't see it. Oh, fuck. You know, the Premier League is, has disappointed me because it's been going on FIFA. It's been going on for years and they've denied it and denied it and they finally gave up and said, I right, go on and we'll have to go line technology. But, you know, it should have been in years ago. Other sports have it, they have Hawkeye in cricket, they have the fucking video referee in um, Super League. So, why uh, the multi million pound business of football not adopted that, you know? So, it's absolutely ridiculous how long it's took for FIFA and the Premier League to come round. Even this season, they could have done what UEFA had done and stuck a, like, a referee on the goal line. That even would have helped because that referee would have seen it instead of relying on a fucking drunken linesman. So, unfortunately, we were denied a goal there. It should have been 1 0 up and it should have been 1 0. It should have been 3 points in the back and 3 points and hit the magic 40 by now. But unfortunately, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Um, moving on to uh, the performance later in the game, we came out second half. West Ham were edging into it. Nolan was causing problems. Uh, Andy Carroll was causing a few problems with his uh, aerial threat. Uh, and now you see Yaskalainen came out, misjudged the ball, Gufran took it past him. Unfortunately, I feel the angle was a bit acute for him to hit it. And unfortunately, it just went to the other side of the post and went wide. So unfortunately, there's another chance gone begging. But hey, uh, Give him a pat on the back for trying, you know. As, you know, the players yesterday did show some grit, determination. Uh, unfortunately, they just couldn't grab that elusive goal to get the three points and hit the Magic 40. Um, so, overall, I'm happy with the performance. They've showed a bit of organisation. At least the defence came back off the holidays and done something. Um I really hope the next game 
will go for the jugular because it's QPR, the down and out, they're in disarray by the looks of it. Because the players are not performing. They're thinking who the what the fuck we're gonna do in the championship with all this money. So I think that you know the but the other flip side is they're more relaxed now because they're now the face, so they'll just play football. I think you pressure on them. All the pressure's on the tune. So I don't know which way that would turn out in that match, but hopefully um, we we'll get three points there because Arsenal's will be a very very tough game, especially if they're still chasing Champions League football. So we need to get our three points at uh, QPR to to give her a good lift and uh, hopefully get with safe. I'll uh, later like next next weekend I'll do a pre QPR report, see who should play, who shouldn't play in my eyes. Report especially after today's performance um yesterday's performance of uh, players. I think you know we should go for a similar team. So anyway, I would like to thank you for tuning in. Remember, give us a like on Facebook at All Aboard the Two Roller Coaster page. Follow us at Twitter at Pods Boys. Uh, give us a subscribe on YouTube if you're on YouTube and give us a like on there. And just leave any comments, feedback and uh, just give us some um, topics to speak about during the week. And I'll get filming and see what you think. Okay now, I'll uh, see you next time. How are the lads?